Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelos and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. We continue the series about the sneak peek feature for 3ds Max uh, 2013, the new version, and we see something related to the Mass Effects uh, feature set, you know, about the dynamic calculation inside uh, 3ds Max. And uh, there are uh, various new features and uh, uh, fixes inside Mass Effect, but I like to sneak peek something related to uh, the cloud simulation. You know that inside 3ds Max we have the cloud modifier, and now we have the M cloud. It's a new modifier that works perfectly with a Mass Effect, so we have rigid body, soft body, and cloud dynamics, everything inside the same environment. Uh, it works in a really simple way and you know uh, for example we can put something like some objects there uh, nothing so complex just to to see and let's go at full screen and then we can create a plane and this plane will be uh, let's see with the edges faces Okay, uh, we'll have more phases to be able to do the simulation. Okay, uh, you know, uh, usually uh, you have to uh, use the cloud modifier, but now we do something different. First of all, uh, we select, for example, these three meshes with a control key, and we say to set a static rigid body. Then we select this one that will be the cloth and we move it there and we say that this one is a, a, a dynamic hem cloth mesh. Okay. Now you see that this plane, let's rotate a little bit and let's add uh, a skylight. Okay, so we have a better illumination there. Um, you know that this one has a, an M cloud. The M cloud you see is uh, similar in any way to the cloud modifier. So we have something related to the cloud simulation. Then we have the force because inside Mass Effects now we can use uh, the the standard uh, 3ds Max uh, space warp forces. So we can add the wind or the gravity and as we we like to do. It's not more a problem. Then you see we have something to capture the status and the, uh, of the um, the clothes, and then we have also the fabric property. So you see we can load the uh, the preset, or we can save. Let's load, for example, the cotton, and uh, we have all the um, the information we need to create. Um, the, the cloth, we have also the possibility to simulate the volume, for example, to simulate uh, a balloon effects full of air, and we have the self collision, we have the collision with uh, the objects, we have uh, the possibility, for example, to simulate the tiring, the tearing, uh, so we can break the cloth, and uh, we have obviously the uh, vertex axis to create the group. As we can do in uh, uh, in the other uh, cloth modifier, you see. Um, let's close. Okay, and let's go there just to see. And you see that there we have more advanced uh, information. So uh, we have a lot of feature, and it is really powerful. Then we have just to press the start simulation to see, and you see that this works perfectly. So let's stop and you see that we done the simulation in real time. It was really really fast. Let's go back. Let's remove this one. Let's try to have more detail just to see how it is fast. Then again create the cloth. Uh, let's load the cotton just to have a preset and then again simulate and you see that now it is a little bit slower but we have a lot of polygons so 
the quality is, uh, will be really really high let's stop it and you see that we done the simulation at a really high speed everything done using the new mclot and that's really really interesting obviously um, you see that there we have the uh, the plane so we have the plane simulated but we can remove it so let's go in the mass effects panel okay uh, let's remove the ground collision let's do again the simulation and you see that now we have just the collision obviously we can use an higher level of quality to have it working so now it is doing really really fast and you see that we have a lot of stretching too but it is just to know that we can do something like that uh, let's use for example um, a box down the objects and this one will be again a rigid body static and let's play and you see that we have a really good simulation and everything is really really fast faster than the cloud modifier obviously maybe the quality is a little bit lower than the cloud modifier but you see that we can do it in pseudo real time and we have a lot of feature uh, to understand the speed of this plugin you can see that there we have also the live track so let's select the, uh, the cloth and you see that there we have the live track it is simulating and then we have the possibility to pick it and to move it so I can pick and move you see and I can move it in real time obviously we have a lot of polygons so it is a little bit slower but you see that it is really interesting to be able to work in this way uh, with um, the, uh, the cloth obviously I like to prepare a series of tutorial about using a, a this cloth but we can also thinking about to have for example let's prepare a sphere just to see another prop uh, another possibility we have let's think about this one auto key and we stay until there and create a key and then we move and we go there okay so this one will be um, a kinematic rigid body because we have the animation done there so back and let's try to animate and see what happened it I see no animation for the other sphere so let's set up this one okay we have the kinematic let's just try Okay, maybe with this P this will be a little bit better so uh, let's try to uh, start the simulation it will take the same time
and you see that we have the collision also with these objects there so it is really really interesting okay uh, I think that we can for example now create the simulation so let's go there and let's say bake hole and it will start to calculate the dynamic so I just simulated some frames and we can close this one and you see that we have some frames baked and everything worked really really fine so um, it was uh, just an introduction to see that we have the possibility now to simulate uh, cloth in real time using the M cloth modifier so um, let's set this one there so we have uh, directly the engine for the dy dynamic directly there so uh, I hope to work a little bit uh, in the future on a sort of tutorial about mCloth and all the new feature in Mass Effects. So for the moment that's all and I hope to see you back on MaxCookie to check for new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.